let's learn about the spiritual wisdom. Today's spiritual wisdom is how do we attract? Attracting the financial success with the help of creative thought. With the help of creative thought. So this is the topic for today, my dear friends. So friends, so when you understand, when you understand about our, our own life, friends, day-to-day -day life, right? Day-to-day -day life. Everyone needs what exactly we need. We need so-called wealth. Wealth for the wealth for the health, health, especially health and wealth, basically. Health and wealth. So we say always that no health is also wealth. Health is also wealth. When you are healthy, of course, uh, it is as good as wealth. If you are not healthy, you can't any you can't do anything on this planet. In fact, the health must be talking about uh, physical health, mental health, both. Okay, and of course, social health. Okay, so when you are healthy, you will be able to do whatever you would like to. So do in your you know day to day life, you will be able to achieve it. That is why one must be healthy always. That is equal to health. Arogye mahabhagya. Arogye mahabhagya. That means health is equal to wealth. Now. So friends, so when you are healthy, I mean physically, mentally, when you are healthy, how do we like, you know, we find many people in society, you just observe, right? Within your own family, you observe. One brother is you know, rich enough. One brother has got enough amount of wealth with him, good amount of wealth. The other brother is struggling, struggling to need, struggling to meet his own day-to-day -day needs. So like that, many, many people, you know, many of the families will observe it automatically. Right? Naturally, you will observe all that in the society. Even if you see that, you know, so you, you are two people are there working in the same company, but one must be prospering faster. One must may not be prospering faster, isn't it? So all depends, you know, like uh, one will be you are working on the same job, but so you are getting the same salary also. The one person will be prospering very faster. So taking this money, you will try to invest somewhere else and you also again grow there also. The other person the, you also get the same salary, but he may not be able to invest. And even if he invests also, he lose. He lose sometimes. He loses money what he got, what he got, and what he invested also. So like this, if you try to observe, there are many many variants within our own life. We find many variants, friends. Okay, all depends upon what exactly. There are <clears throat> certain things are there, certain steps are there which we will not follow, but some other people they'll be following in their life. Okay. So this is very great difference is there, my dear friends. We need to notice. We need to notice very carefully. Many times, what happens is directly we'll compare with the other person. How much wealth he is having? How much financially very you know successful person he is a successful person financially? All that we we try to comment from outside, but we never know what kind of things he is now, what kind of things he is doing in his own life, and what kind of things which we are not doing. Right? There will be definitely the difference. The difference only which we don't know. So he will be all he will be always doing. That's why he is you know is becoming rich or he is getting financially stronger. But we are not doing it, so we are not getting it. That's all it is. It's like you know. So always friends, remember this is a science again. Science of getting rich, you know, getting rich also it's a science. It's not like a blind belief or something like you know. So you can say. Uh, something which uh, comes automatically from somewhere. No, it doesn't come like that. It is exactly is equal to science. It it works like a science. Okay, what is the science? Science of thought, a creative thought. You must have the creative thought. What you generate out of you, is that it? See, for example, many of the many of the people, you know, they'll be suffering. They'll be suffering, and they wanted they wanted badly the financial gain or financial uh, success or whatever it may be. They wanted it, but at the same time, the way they think, you know, the way they create the thought, the thought is not powerful, first of all. The th thought is very weak. How, how does, uh, how can you say this? Because obviously, even meditators and non-meditators doesn't make any difference, friends. Let me tell you, meditators can, of course, create a, a powerful thought and it can, they can energize it. They can make it work, okay, very consciously. But even without meditation also, let me tell you, there are some people because of their previous incarnation, whatever it may be, you can see many people, even non meditators also on this earth planet, isn't it? I have many examples, you have many examples. So in their own life, they'll be earning good amount of money. Okay. So they'll be in the different uh, business or a profession or whatever it may be, or a particular the uh, the set up a, a separate business, whatever they are doing, but they'll be becoming rich and they are earning money, all that happening. 
even though they are non vegetarians and uh, they are all that they, they many many combination many variants are there but still they are growing you know they are growing financially they are getting financial success all that is possible why it is possible because you don't think you know you don't treat that human being means he is a just born in this particular life no he is already born in the previous lives what he was doing in the previous lives isn't it in the previous life his previous life you don't know isn't it and he also doesn't know you also doesn't know, right so then we can't comment on we, we can't comment basing on that you know like in this life he doesn't do meditation he, even he doesn't do prayers also he doesn't go to temple also but still he is a rich person okay many for example you, you see you see the christians of course they go to uh, church and all they pray also so some that's how friends what happens across many religions across many sectors across many variants people are you know becoming rich not just because of the the current day the current life's practice current life practices or current life's expertise or whatever it will be definitely the effect or the result of the previous life karma also this is what you have to remember very carefully so two persons will be two two persons are belong to the same job and one will be growing rich one will be in the same position he can he will not go rich the reason is his previous life one person has done very good karmas so that what happens he is gaining now he is go on gaining isn't it so that's how he will be gaining and he will become rich no doubt it means even our past life also will our past life is also going to condition or control the current current life my friends very much so this everybody will forget this we don't remember that's but what happens is we try to directly compare with the other person why not you know i we are in the same level and but i am i am very poor in condition but that fellow is uh, also the same you know same everybody they are both are the same level but one is always growing other other one is not able to grow so you can't compare like that okay that is why so never compare that's why what we say always is never compare you know you know only this much right small within you know limits only you know you don't know beyond that limits okay what is that beyond limits the earlier lives the past lives which you don't know about is past life okay that is the reason so never compare with the other person whatever suppose if he is if he is growing richer if he is gaining more and more financial gain be happy with him you know be happy with him always try to be happy with him so then what will happen is and also all the time what happen friends whatever you have right now whatever the universe has given to you right so be happy with that first first try to express the gratitude to the universe okay whatever you have small thing little whatever you have for that also you have to express the gratitude i am so thankful thank you universe thank you nature thank you existence you have given me so much i am so happy i love you that's all so what happens with this friends you are happy you are happy for the what you have right now that is first very very important for the universe right it is a highly important friends afterwards okay you aim for bigger how do you aim basically you need good amount of energy within you right do more meditation right regular swadhyaya sajana sangatya you keep doing it you get more and more energy within your within your physical body within your mental body your mental energy will be boosted because of what because of your own practice of meditation and spiritual spiritual wisdom this a swad swadhyaya sajana sangatya all this and also use the pyramid power use the pyramid energy also so then what will happen is your own mental energy will be boosted now with that what happens is now you create one thought you create a thought that thought will be always powerful it will be let's say see for example friends so thoughts means there are various thoughts are there different no the, the uh, like you know we can create many thoughts many types of thoughts in fact what are the th types of thoughts one will create negative thought positive thought right and sometimes we create a miraculous thought sometimes we create a you know a disaster thought disaster thought also like you know destructive thoughts so likewise what will happen is our own you know our own human system will try to create a different thought basing on their energy levels you see you you go to one yogi okay and sit with him what he does he always create a miraculous thoughts he says that the entire what the you know the entire earth is like a uh, like heaven it is uh, like heaven it is uh, so happy we are all blissful eh? we are uh, you know we are uh, going to we are going to the very good times always he talks positive even though negative is there in front of him he never talk about that he don't use the negative words 
द रीजन बीइंग फ्रेंड्स ऑलवेज डू वन थिंग ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वन थिंग व्हाट एवर यू से फ्रॉम योर माउथ राइट सो इट ऑल वाइब्रेशंस राइट व्हाट एवर यू थिंक आल्सो दे आर वाइब्रेशंस थिंकिंग एंड टॉकिंग बोथ आर वाइब्रेशंस वेयर डज दिस ट्रैवल दीस वाइब्रेशंस दीस व्हाट एवर साउंड वेव्स आर थॉट वेव्स बोथ आर एक्चुअली एनर्जी वेव्स दे आर ट्रैवल इनटू द यूनिवर्स ओके दैट्स वेयर व्हाट व्हाट दे डू इज दे अट्रैक्ट दोस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशंस दैट इज व्हाई वी से द यूनिवर्स इज ब्लाइंड इनफ ओके इट्स अ न्यूट्रल is a neutral what is it do so as it is neutral whatever you send it will reflect back like a newton third law so newton third law what what does it say there is a equal and opposite reaction for every for every action there is a equal and opposite reaction in fact it means there is an action equal and opposite reaction so that happens basically for example you take one ball you throw it right with how much ever speed you throw so with the same amount of equal and action equal and opposite reaction will come to you similarly what is the thought you are releasing the thought is if, it, if the thought is really you know healthy thought or you can say powerful thought or you can say positive thought for example so i am just i am learning the uh, i just learned the drive, driving okay i learned i just learned the driving i want to go to the i want to take a car and go to the so on to the road so uh, one person will think like you know so i will go to the i'll go to that uh, place and then come back within exactly i will definitely come back other person uh, negative third person what it does positive third person say, says that i will definitely drive the car safely i'll come back he says that negative third person what he says is so i will take the car and go to the road i may come back i may not come come back safely it means a negative thought you are creating it nobody creating right so that's where friends everything the source is within us source is not outside of us many times what happens is we try to blame the situations people friends you know the parents everybody we blame all around us we go on blame everybody for uh, for not able to gain successfully for not able to gain financial gain whatever it may be right so you want to attract the financial gain what must be done is first thing you must correct your thought make your thought powerful first of all see it's a positive thought what is the positive thought i will definitely come back with the vehicle safety next miraculous thought is also there so what is the miraculous thought a, a person who is having a miraculous thought for thought power what he says is i go to the road i take this vehicle though i am first first time driving person first time i am driving today to take me the car to the road but i go and come back within 5 minutes i am mentioning exactly the the quantity also this much time i'll come back it means see this is called miraculous thought my dear friends okay and destructive thought destructive means i i will take the vehicle i will get accident finish okay i'll take the vehicle i'm just a learner i mean i just learned the driving so because i don't know i'm going to the road and then i mean i'll get uh, definitely i'll get the accident i'll hit somebody or somebody hit me so this is the destructive thought now who is making this thoughts is the universe is forcing you or anybody anybody outside any other agents or anybody any other outside elements or any outside people are they forcing you to do these kind of thoughts everything comes out of you friends in fact i told many times also we are the mini universe we are the mini universe always remember this so many times you know we are confused basically so i can't become rich because so i don't have this i don't have education i don't have environment my parents are not rich okay i don't have good properties i don't have good job i don't have this i don't have that we go on say we go on say in number of things because not you are not becoming rich or you are not getting you are not gaining financially something you are not financially you are become not becoming successful the reasons are so many reasons will come into your mind at at one at one shot isn't it so that is not the way friends so there is no limitation for you let me tell you you are a soul you are the soul consciousness you are forgetting that first of all you are forgetting your own real form what is your what is your true form if you understand your true form you are nothing but the universe you are nothing but the soul consciousness you, you are a soul consciousness at the same time friends try to understand just a minute a little battery issue assessment yes sorry so here is the understanding friends our understanding problem is there it means 
I will always think that I, I always think that I am a physical body. I am so and so. I am Suresh. I am Ramesh. Okay. So I am I am having so so and so status. I am not more than that. I have no much support. Uh, and uh, I I may not gain you know crores of money crores of rupees. I may not gain financially. I may not grow. So these are the these are the conditionings you have kept. You we have you have created yourself around you. Nobody did it. That means you are responsible for it. That's why we say that we create our own responsibilities. We cre we create our own uh, our own reality. We create our own reality. We are responsible for that reality. Understand? It means we create our own reality. We are responsible for that reality. Okay. So that means yad bhava tad bhavati. Whatever we have. So yata mati yata mati tata gati. Isn't it? Similarly, if you see, as you sow, so you reap. Right? This is a great statement by Jesus Christ. So it means your thought. First of all, the thought which has which is implanted you within you, it must be strong. It must be unwavering, unshakable. Okay, that kind of thought. If you have it about your own financial success, definitely you'll get it. What happens here, friends? So there are uh, basically what happens. There are four steps. Always remember this. So in these four steps, you must follow within your day-to-day -day life also. First thing is what you wanted in your life. I wanted financial success. Okay. Yes. Noted down. So for that, what you need to do? You have to send a command to the universe. Command to the outside of you. The command has to be very, very strong. Let me tell you. So first step is commanding. I wanted financial success within this year. I need to be successful so and so. It means uh, as a financially, I want success means what? So I, I should purchase or I gain one house or gain one car. I, I want to gain something, whatever you, you wanted, any particular uh, asset, whatever. You decided. You decided and sent this sent this particular command into the universe. This is called commanding. That command must be very, very strong. Okay. So this first thing you need to do. When you command it, it goes into the universe, right? So it goes into the universe. Then what you need to do is you must have the complete faith on it. You must completely believe in it. What happened many times? We send the command, okay, out of our own, you know, curiosity, out of our own so-called aspiration, uh, ambition. We send the command. Definitely, everybody will send the command for that matter. But next minute, we don't believe it. We don't accept it. We don't, I mean, we don't believe it basically. Or you can say like we don't have proper faith on it. We think that you know it may happen, it may not happen. That's where it is cancelled, friends. Your command is withdrawn. Try to understand. So what you need to do is, once you make a command to the universe, you also need to have the strong belief on it. Believe it very strongly. Yes, it will happen. No matter what, no matter what, what kind of circumstances it may come across. I may come across. It may come to me. Doesn't matter. It will happen. That's called believing. Believe in it. Whatever the command you send, believe in it. Believe in it means walls. So believe in the existence. Okay, believe believe on existence, believe on yourself. Yes, it will happen. Okay, that's very important. Now, after believing, what we what you need to do is you need to act. You know, you need to have the attitude of receiving, friends. What is receiving? It means you should have definitely have an attitude that you uh, you should think that you know you already received it. How do you think that it's, you received it in your thoughts? Right? In your thoughts, in your way, in your actions outside. For example, you aimed for a one good car, one luxurious car. Okay. As such, what happened? You have sent a command, you have believed very strongly. Now you receive you, you, you received it. So you, that means you should act like you have received it. How do you how do you do that? It means so you should have the complete feeling of you know. When you tasted one sweet, what, what happened? The sweet, uh, the sweet, uh, that uh, taste of that sweet, particular sweet, you will feel, you will feel so strongly in the body, right? So strong, strongly in your body, physical body. Similarly, as if you got a car and you are roaming it, and you are, your family is with you, and you are driving it, or you are going a long drive, and you are going to the different places. You know, this kind of a something called, you know, you received it. That kind of a, uh, that kind of attitude you should get it. Okay, so it means you are. Basically, you are living. You are you are living as such. You know, you already got that car with you. Okay, you already received in your life. This is very very important, friends. So not only that, if you get similar that kind of car anywhere you see outside, 
okay so if you are like you know if your friend is having same car you just drive that car so try to spend the time there okay so likewise what happen so you are created atmosphere that you already received that now you see so that's that's where it starts working friends so then finally what happens is we have to express gratitude so my gratitude sincere gratitude i am very thankful to the universe that you know universe so for everything whatever i have today whatever i have today for everything what i have today so i am so thankful universe so thankful almighty i am so thankful to you the existence i am very thankful to you whatever i have so that gratitude must be sent all the time all the time whatever you have right now so please send that you know that signal to the universe always so then it starts working no doubt on that friends okay but there is one, one one important thing is here always everybody will forget okay so everybody you know law of attraction you read the books and all then you find that you know so this commanding believing and then receiving and the gratitude it works no at the end there is one which everybody forgets okay before i close the session i would like to highlight that okay i would like to give important uh, you know like a important uh, information or you can i want to uh, educate you on that so that is act now act in the present okay many people what happen so they command it send the command to the universe and they believe they also believe very strongly unshakable faith that means complete faith on the existence it will happen whatever i whatever i wanted i aspired it will happen yes received that means i am acting as if i have received already yes that's also good and finally i am expressing gratitude to the universe yes that's also great but there is one thing which everybody is missing is you are not acting now you are not acting now see what happened many people friends sitting in a room sitting in the room and go on do this exercise doesn't work what you need to be what you need to be doing is all the time you have to be busy in the work something at your hand right now so let's say so you wanted all this to happen right one financial financially you want to be you want to become successful you have created a strong thought that's what that's called command a strong thought a strong maybe you can say like a, a uh, miraculous thought you have created miraculous thought you have created that's called command you have done it already so you have created yes that's good the creative thought has gone to the universe and it will travel far and wide it will bring the situation back to you okay that's all that's good so it will come back but what will happen it will be ready to come back but it will not come to your hand okay it is ready the, it is it is ready it is whatever you have sent it everything that uh, the complete process done by universe it kept ready for you in some place in some other person's hand in some others uh, you can say in some others bank uh, uh, somewhere it is available already universe has made ready for you but it will not come to your hand why it doesn't come to your hand so until it comes to your hand you can't say you are financially successful right then what you need to do you must be in the action you must be doing some work okay so for example i am doing some transaction i am going to every day job okay along with the job i am doing some share uh, trading also trading business also otherwise i am investing in some property so something or other i am doing something or other i am doing always i am busy i am busy in the acting that's that's called acting now this acting now friends many people are missing simply they are releasing this command receive and uh, gratitude they say command believing and receiving and then uh, you know like a gratitude and they forget it and uh, as if you know uh, they don't have much work they simply lazy uh, lazy enough uh, they are not working and they don't have the very good very good work at, at the hand nothing is there then how does the universe work the universe will not be able to give you to your hand friends it will not bring you it, it it is ready but it will not be bring to your hand if it has to come to your hand you must be in the action any one action whatever it may be in your day to day life you are a professor you are a doctor you are an engineer you are a painter you are a carpenter you are a plumber you are whatever it may be you have to be in the action okay so then this formula will work will work very very effectively friends okay so the same this is similar thing you know we we try to in the previous class i explained you something called science of getting rich please watch my video also so you'll have much more details about uh, how to become rich how to become rich so what is the science behind it i explained very detailedly also you can go to that video also in the last 21 days class also there is a video 
So it's called science of getting rich. The complete science I explained you, but here also, what is the time you have? So limited time, within the limited time, I'm trying to give you all these details. This is the way you have to, I mean, you have to accommodate yourself, my dear friends. You have to accommodate, you have to lead your life with, with you know, with, with, with respect to all these things. Then what will happen is gain, gaining successful, I mean, gaining success or becoming financially stronger or whatever may be. So it is very much possible. So there is nothing which is impossible or there is nothing which is difficult also. The reason is, so see, we we ourselves, we ourselves are the universe. It means I am the, so let's say like a ma micro universe, like you know, macro universe is living in the, in the form of mic micro universe. We are the micro universe basically. It means we are just the reflection of the big universe. It means everything else is also available within, within us. See, Swami Vivekananda, what it say, what he says, all the universes within you do not search outside for anything for as for finance for financially success finance successful or you want to be healthy or you want to be you no know, uh, so called wealthy healthy and you want to be growing intellectually or you want to gain spiritual wisdom or you want to become a great master or you want to become a, anything you know with respect to all materialistic uh, life with respect to anything you want to achieve anything you have everything within you don't search outside Many times what happened, friends, we go on search outside. We, we, we search in the temples, we search with the astrologer, we search with the uh, so-called, you know, the, any kind of a, uh, people, you know, they'll be, uh, they'll be promising you or they'll be, uh, you know, motivating you, saying that, you know, you'll be, you'll become this, you'll become that. So, you know, you do these pujas, you do uh, those homas, all this they'll be keep telling you. But you never depend on yourself. You forget about yourself. See, how powerful you are, right? You are a powerful, so you are in you, you have infinite capacity, you have infinite power within you because you are a soul, right? You are a soul being. What is stopping you? Only stopping is your own limited beliefs are stopping you. Your own mind, whatever the physical mind is there, conscious mind, right? This conscious mind is programmed such a way that so that has gone into the subconscious level now. In the subconscious level, what you have uh, straight away programmed is. Right? What you have programmed in the subconscious level? So I can't become rich. My life is like this only. I only get 30, 40,000 salary every month. I may not get more than this. And I may not buy one, not even one scooter also, my lifetime. And everybody, you know, they have programmed themselves. Such a way, they have programmed such a way, that, you know, every programming is done within their subconscious mind with the help of this conscious mind. This conscious mind only kept on repeating all these things in your own life. Then it has gone into the, so the subconscious level. It is straight away stored in the subconscious level, friends. When it is stored in subconscious level, it is highly difficult to take it back or get it back. So then what you need to do is, so doing meditation continuously, you can deprogram, you can reprogram the subconscious mind. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay. So continuous with a continuous meditation, Sajina Sangatya, Swajaya, all this what happens? You will become mentally powerful. It means your mental energy will boost up. Your mental energy is boosted up, and you got greatest positivity within you. And you start, you know, you start reprogramming your own subconscious mind, saying that okay, definitely I will achieve this. Till before meditation, after meditation, there are a lot of difference, friends, within your mindset, within your own way of thinking. You, you yourself, you know. So the now we are in the thirteenth day, basically. By thirteen days itself, we will be knowing it. How far, you know, the kind of changes what you see within within your mental changes, basically. Within your, you know, the mental field, what kind of changes you have noticed. Definitely there will be the broad difference, the great difference from before meditation, after meditation. So if you continue this meditation lifelong, what happens? So you definitely achieve what you wanted. You wanted, a, you know, financially or physically or with respect to spiritual, spiritually. So whichever you wanted, whatever you wanted. You have power to create. That's what I'm trying to say. You are a co-creator. You are a co-creator and you forgot that you are a co-creator. This co-creator, co-creator hood or co-creator ship is already bestowed. It is already given by the uh, so-called, you know, Paramatma. It's already given to us. Only thing is we forgot. So we forgot and we are, you know, like we are crying. We are crying and we are searching and we are going here, there, here. And, you know, everybody say, whatever everybody says, we try to follow, but still we are not able to achieve because you forgot about yourself first and you are searching for some others. So, never do that. Just go with the proper proper meditation, Swajaya, Sachana, Sangatya, 
so definitely you will come back to your own reality basically you come back to your own reality then you create anything out of it either by be it a financial success be it a so maybe you want to become master or you want to you know create a you know, something magical something you know marvelous you want to create on this earth planet you can do it so there is no limitation nothing will condition you nothing will stop you so it is unstoppable friends once you get a reality once you got to once you come to the reality once you understand your own reality your own reality if you understand everything is unstoppable unstoppable on this earth planet friends thank you so much dhanyawad right so anybody want to friends anybody want to talk so you can express or you can ask any question two three minutes we'll be closing it yes shyam sundar ji uh, thank you sir thank you for this class uh, on uh, becoming financially uh, free Yes. Uh, so one uh, aspect which actually holds a lot of people they want to travel the spiritual path but then they can't balance the financial aspect then they go back to the normal uh, routine so it was a good uh, input for us then uh, how to progress in financially is within us and that is what uh, we don't realize so thank you for explaining that to me right uh, one small query uh, regarding meditation is uh, when i sit and meditate i usually sit on the floor uh, sometimes i get uh, i'm okay with sitting down but i get some small cramps in between after say about 20 minutes or so is there any way that i can uh, get no, rid of that the, uh, if you are sitting on the floor are you putting any blanket or mat or something yes i'm using a blanket on blanket a uh, nice uh, very like you know very uh, smooth blanket on something you keep it underneath then start doing meditation okay, okay? and even then if it yeah. happens like this uh, without opening yeah. the eyes just adjust yourself okay without opening the eyes adjust your uh, legs or whatever no wherever you feel, feel like crampy just adjust yeah. and again again start sitting it that's all hmm? okay that's how we need to continue so uh, so we should not discontinue i mean we should not open the eyes if you open the eyes what happen again you will come back to zero okay okay what are the what are the energy you gain now you will dissipate through eyes if you open it suddenly okay okay that's why we will make you to come back to normal position also very slowly okay after meditation yeah yeah thank you thank you right Okay, friends. Anybody want to speak? Nand Nanda Selar, Nanda Selar, want to speak? Yes. Whenever we, I mean, whenever we get opportunity, friends, we should utilize it. Okay, we should not, uh, we should not be avoiding it, or we should not be wasting it. Get a person to speak. Always you must speak. Whatever you know, whatever whatever you want to express, also it's fine. Okay. Yes. Final one. Final one person. Ah, uh, Manisha. Manisha ji. Sir, actually, I wanted to ask, but uh, I'm feeling just uh, awkward. Sir, so, all these thoughts and all these we that we have to create, we have that that we have to keep our mindset. Okay. so the simple simplest is that i eat too much so how to prepare my mind for that sir because day by day increasing uh, weight and all that so we can recreate that also how sir so there is no know. control on my tongues hmm. so what you mean to say is uh, day to day can you repeat the question sir uh, i eat a lot so i i don't have control on my tongue whatever even at this time you will give me bhaji and all that i'll eat so how to create that thoughts and that i have to control means i have to get control on my tongue like yeah you want to control on your uh, day to day activities or day to day habits sir huh? habit this habit sir okay okay right 
okay so it's all it's all like this see uh, you know right whether it is good or bad first thing okay when you are doing itself you know that right so then one thing is you are not even you are not able to control means one thing is lacking is your will power is less okay see if if you are not able to control anything whatever right? for example i want to have a unshaken faith i want to have a very strong belief on what i what i am whatever i am doing whatever i believed i i it has to be very strong means your will power must be more very very important okay so the when the will power is more you will be standing on only one thing you will not be wavering you will not go here and there sometimes you eat sometimes you don't eat so i mean like uh, you though it's though it's not good but you try to eat and then all that you do because your will power is less okay so sometimes uh, we only do we do that just for an experimentation also we do that's okay no one then not every time for experimentation means experimentation is what just to understand what it is we do that right though it is a little bad or not good also for the health but we try to eat it just to just to taste it or just to test uh, test it basically that's okay now and then but every time you are repeating that means you have no control on your own you know so called the so called the activities or your, your so called experiences or so called the thoughts it means you have less less will power this will power has to be boosted first so once you get a will power then you can stand on one particular thing like you, know, you are a so centered focus focus centered you no know, centered focus and you have you know ball ball, you know, ball pen pointed focus you know, that kind of focus will have when you have a good amount of willpower with you so that will be increased with the, with the help of meditation only gradually so it doesn't come from somewhere okay it all comes from meditation only okay right okay right thank you friends thanks for joining this session and dhanwad to all of you subrat so,